those of you watching at home will play a part. So if you guys missed it, last night we found some strange notes anonymously left that say there's going to be a trip. Your family has been under our observation for some time now, it says. Your message to Treasure Family is lost in our reality. This is our final attempt to bring it back. Every one of you play an important role in making this happen. Rebecca, Michael, James, Corbin, Elizabeth, Charles, Ryan, Jessica, will you help us? And then on the back it's signed, Heroes of the Fourth Dimension. So. The second that we marked yes on this note, we checked the yes box. Literally, the second that we checked that box, the doorbell rang and we found another note on our doorstep. It says, thank you for accepting this mission. And we didn't ring the doorbell. I don't know who did. There was nobody out front, but there was just a note on our doorstep. It says, thank you for accepting this mission. Our gratitude is overflowing. While we knew you would say yes, it had to be your choice. What's next? Get packed. You leave on Thursday. Prepare for 10 days. Further instruction will come tomorrow when you're ready. So that's our focus today. We're getting ready for this trip. Hopefully once we're all packed and ready to go, we'll get another note with further instruction. So we'll see what happens. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Doing good. Guess what? what? Today I opened up a new lip sense that is the only lip sense I've ever used the entire thing of. So oh. I got some more sheer berry. That's your favorite one, right? Yeah. All right. Discovered more favorites. <laughs> okay, that was your first original favorite. That was favorite. my first original favorite. So you're getting ready to do some shopping today? Yep. Because we got a lot of packing. I have no idea. So if we're gonna be gone for ten days, I've got to get a whole bunch of like road trip food, maybe. I don't know. I think the focus today is gonna be getting the house clean, getting shopping for our trip, and then packing for our trip. And doing laundry. And doing laundry for our trip. I just barely went to the store. Now I'm back. I have a lot of groceries and a lot of things that I've planned for the trip. I have no idea where we're going, but I do know we're probably going to need food. I got a lot of snacks, food, and a lot of stuff like that. I want to make sure everybody's fed on this mystery trip that we're going on that I have no idea where we're going. So we might as well have food so we can live. Now I got a whole bunch of stuff and I'm actually really excited because I looked up on Pinterest road trip foods or road trip snacks and so I got a whole bunch of those things and I'm ready to show you guys. Are you guys happy? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Trying to get this off. Mama. Did you get me a little goodie bag? No. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you'd be uh, mad at me if I did. Oh, that's actually I got two <laughs> Look yeah. at this zipper thing. Whoa, that's pretty cool. I wonder what's inside. Okay, I'll tell you what they are. But you all have to sit down on the floor right here so I can tell you. They're lunch bags. Yeah. Lunch bags? Lunch bags. And Charlie found the bananas. Check it out. <laughs> Did you find it? Are you so happy? He's like, you guys can keep your lunchbox. <laughs> he actually brought those lunchboxes in as a distraction so that they would just let him eat a banana and not get after him. <laughs> um, you want one? Why is mine Daddy, different than Daddy, all of theirs? Daddy, Yours, Daddy, you got a different style. Daddy, Daddy. Is that good? Charlie, go eat that at the table. Go, go to the table, hurry. No, I yes. love this movie. No. Yes. For your paws only. <gasps> for your paws for only. For your paws only. That's pretty cool. So it's only for me. Mm. I guess so. Oh, is that? <gasps> what does it say? Beautiful. What does that this says say? Anna and Elsa. Huh? So I'm going to show you guys what I've decided to get that I think is going to be really helpful for all of our stuff. First off, I got these bins. These bins are specifically measured. I went out to our van and in between, underneath the seats, there's a space that's pretty big. And I was like, I want to use that for storage while we're on their trip so that the van's not like flowing, overflowing with so much stuff, but that it's actually a little bit organized. Okay, what they've just gotten into without asking. I went to DI and picked up a few books for the road. What do you guys think? It's really scary of a spider. Ah! Mama! That's Ariel. <laughs> Is that Ariel? 
Ariel. Uh, if I didn't know any better, I think you guys were all really excited about these books. Got it organized a little bit better than before, and at this point, this is pretty much, I think, gonna work pretty well. In this one, I have mostly like baggies, silverware, some little condiment cups. These I got at the store, I'm really excited to try for Charlie because he always dumps everything out. Kind of fill it up with some cereal and hand it to him as a little snack cup. We've got granola bars, paper plates and bowls, water bottles and cups. And the thing that I did with these water bottles is I'm gonna take the lids off of these ones and put them on here, almost making little sippy cups for the kids. And I don't want them to have giant water bottles because we all know that on a road trip, kids need to go to the bathroom about a million times. <laughs> Next, I've got apples, peanut butter and jelly for bread, oranges, these little cheese, cheese it grips, little crackers, and then over here we've got apple sauces. And I always loved these little cheese and cracker things when I was a kid. So I have extra bread because I know on this trip we're gonna need more. We're probably gonna have multiple lunches with peanut butter and jelly, <laughs> just because the kids like it. It's easy. <laughs> this is kind of the refrigerated section that I'm gonna be putting in. A cooler but for now just to show you guys what I brought for the trip this is where I put it and cheese sticks and celery that I'm gonna chop up into sticks the kids would probably love to have a book or two to read and then I was like why don't I just go to the thrift store I never remember to look for books at the thrift store so I went to the thrift store total these books cost six dollars and fifty cents for all of these books and these are like pretty thick card books this one is like a really big one lots of books in it and then this one is a set of have a whole bunch of small books, Frog Prince, Rapunzel, that type of thing. So I think between all of these books, the kids are gonna really, really enjoy having some things to read on our road trip. And then I also got them all lunch boxes because they've never had them. And I think they'll all enjoy a little bit of individuality, like to be able to carry their own lunch or pack their own. Anyways, that's what I got. That's the grocery haul for this mysterious trip we're going on. What is all this junk? Don't, hey don't look at all this junk. Guess what I found, <laughs> it's bad. Dad? What? And it is for my bug trap. You, are you guys cleaning out this car? I found yeah. this. Oh, cool. Mom and found this, this for me. Dad. All sorts of treasures when you clean out the van, huh? <laughs> I found this. Gotta get this thing all ready to go for our trip. You're amazing, baby. Okay, girls, I'm I love you. I Dad. Cool, sweetie. This Good job. I'm glad you guys are working out oh, here. What is going on in here? Becca, you've been cooking again, baby. <laughs> Be nice to me, or I'll never cook for you again. <laughs> Even on the good days. Oh! Ah! Oh, wow. oh, wow. Everything's happening all at once. We still got a smoky in the house. That's the tree. And the tree. The tree. Oh. Not supposed to cook them on these? No, that you are, but maybe you pushed it up against the wall, and that's why it started burning. Oh. Because nothing spilled. No, nothing did spill. See, it's not my fault. <laughs> Wait. Look at the bottom of this pizza. That was bad. It, it was, actually was on fire in there. It was burning in the oven. It was on fire in and there. And if you look underneath the pizza, it's like black to a crisp oh, underneath so this sad. thing. And you know what? It wasn't in there for that long. It caught on fire. <laughs> that in there on fire. Pizza! Pizza! <laughs> Exactly as I imagined you in my mind. Happy. I was gonna ask. And a pig face. I was gonna ask, did you draw a pig? <laughs> then yeah. you said, it's you, mom. <laughs> it's you, mom. That's Thanks. cute. I feel so flattered. <laughs> we got a pretty big pile of laundry here that we're getting ready to organize and sort and then start packing into bags. We're making good progress today. Yeah, we are. I love that we have a whole day of packing and cleaning and preparing and shopping and all of that stuff. That's good. You've done amazing I so far. I van, I packed it with food and a lot of stuff that we need in there and now I'm going to be doing a lot of other stuff in here. Cool. We're almost done and then we can hopefully get a letter. <laughs> well, for the most part, the house is pretty clean. We've got a lot of packing going on here. Becca is wiped out because it's the end of the day and she's been working her butt off. Oh my goodness. <coughs> 
So show us how you packed this thing, I'm curious. Okay, let's say I wanted to make an outfit, but I did not want to have, okay, a problem for me on trips is that I get overwhelmed having to change the kids' clothes every single day. Obviously you can tell by how little they change. They've probably been wearing these same clothes for three days <laughs> in the vlogs. Anyways, so on trips, what I like to do to eliminate the stress of that is plan ahead by picking say these two things even though i wouldn't put them together because it's camo and stripes anyways <laughs> what i would do so that i don't have to put it together and i can just say hey go grab your clothes or i can say hey go grab one of the outfits for charlie to michael if he wants to help me get the kids ready so what i do is i grab a shirt and i fold it in half and then i grab some pants sometimes underwear depending because i sometimes i undo it if i want to see the front so then I just roll it together and I put a rubber band around it and there's a whole outfit for the kids and then I can just throw it in there. It saves space. It takes up a lot less space because it's so organized. So, are you, so show us this bag, what you got going on so, here. So it said 10 days and Charlie definitely needs a new outfit every day because he will destroy them. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got on this end for Ellie and Charlie, Sunday and Sunday. The next thing is an out, uh, PJs and a uh, PJs. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying And then you just got a whole bunch and more then outfits. One, two, three, four, warm and five, bathing six, suits seven, and stuff. Eight, nine, ten outfits for Charlie here. Still waiting on a couple outfits for Ellie, but these are all Ellie's, these are all Charlie's. Some shoes for Corbin. I'm getting ready to start his next. Then in this pocket I have everybody's swimsuit and everybody's underwear. Alright, community underwear drawer. That's right. All right here I've got sunscreen like the rub-on kind the spray-on kind and aloe vera just in case and i don't know <gasps> that's i've been looking for that go put that in my room okay cool so you're just putting all the kids stuff in one big bag for everybody absolutely i would rather not lose a bag and have a kid in tears yeah so this is easier for me to keep track of just one huge bag and i pack it so i know that they're not gonna go butt naked you're amazing at organizing when i try you've done this a lot of times <laughs> i guess huh I have. I feel like I'm getting better. I do it a lot nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a really good day. We've been really just working all day long, packing, organizing, cleaning. Just got done vacuuming everything. We had dinner for everybody after the burned pizza fiasco. <laughs> Here. But I think I think for the most part uh, we're getting ready to put the kids to bed and I think we're ready to go. So I mean all we're waiting on are a few clothes that, to finish off packing. I think we're ready. We haven't seen any notes yet or heard the doorbell ring or anything like that. Have you guys Why heard anything? Rings like a little I thought I heard one right after we're right there. I we're think it's in a different ring. ring. What if it rings notes. after you go to bed? Two notes. Do you think there's going to be another note tonight, or do you think maybe we're, we didn't do it good be. enough? Well, I think what was really cool about last night is it was almost like it appeared out of nowhere. Yeah. We never saw anybody. It just showed up. It was just there. That was really cool. We should have looked through that window. I wonder if it's just going to appear at some point. Like, maybe it'll just pop up all by itself. Tell you what, guys. I'm going to send you guys to bed, but if we find it, we'll tell you, okay? Okay. Okay. And if you find it, you guys find it, or you see it first, tell us. All right? Okay. Cool. All right. Okay, well, we're gonna get these to guys to wait. bed. First, just go to bed. Uh, I'm gonna keep the camera close, and if we see something, I'm gonna turn it right on, so you okay. won't miss a thing. Okay, guys. All right, Ellie. I found a letter right here. I found a letter right here, and it was not open. Really? Yeah. It was just laying there. I did not notice that. It was. Were you laying down in your bed and it? No. It just appeared there. Are you sure it's not the one that we already opened? No, it's 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 closed. It's not open. Well, let's go show mom. <laughs> That's strange. That's weird. Right when I saw it. Wait, so you were laying down in your bed and there was nothing there, and then all of a sudden you. You got up and there was something there? And then I got no. up and then looked there and then it was there. It was just laying there. Can I open it? Let Corbin open it. Oh. What? It was because on Corbin's bed. Okay. Because I found it. Okay, and you know how to read. Oh, it's another one! No oh. way. Another clue! How did it just materialize in your bed another when you weren't one. even there? Good, I you're packed. Sh okay, okay, everybody listen, everybody listen. Good, you're packed and ready to go. Get good sleep tonight. 
you'll need it. Tomorrow you will begin a trip that will help us restore our family treasure. Be brave. This will not be easy. Even those of you watching at home will play a part. Yes, you too. Whoa. Does that mean like our viewers are going to play a part? Heroes of the Fourth Dimension. Heroes of the Fourth Dimension. It's the same Whoa. thing as all those other notes. That's so crazy. When does it Did say it say anything about where we're going? Here, no. let me, I want to look at no. it. No. No. Can I look at it? No, it's it's just again, it's coming. It's done. It doesn't say anything about where we're going. And it says, you too. Even those of you watching at home will play a part. Yes, you too. That's so crazy. It does. Well, I guess that's it. I don't know how they got it in Corbin's bed while he was laying there. And I don't know how they got our reality. Even those of you watching at home will play a part. Yes, you too. When we were kids, just hanging at the playground, when all we needed.